Hey guys, welcome back to Food Tech Journey. So today we are going to discuss about genetically modified foods. Without wasting time, let's start. GM organisms. So these are organisms in which genetic material has been altered in a way that doesn't occur naturally. Or you can understand it like this: that crops uh, in which uh, the organisms, these are organisms in which the DNA has been tweaked by scientists to achieve specific traits. So why are foods genetically modified? This question must be arising in your mind, right? The answer is that crops are modified to resist pests, tolerate harsh environment conditions like temperature, humidity. Another most important thing is to improve their nutritional value. This can be done by altering an existing section of DNA or by adding a new gene altogether as you can see in this diagram. It starts with extracting DNA and choosing a desirable trait. Then we insert it into a plant's DNA and we will modify the gene in this process called as gene modification. Then we can see the growth of plant. These are some other names of uh, genetically, genetically modified foods like modern biotechnology, gene technology, recombinant DNA technology and genetic engineering. Some examples includes Corn, soy, cotton, rice, rapeseed, potatoes, tomatoes, peas, and various dairy products. As you can see in this diagram, the tomatoes have been genetically modified, but they are not being grown commercially at that time. For example, you must have heard about hybrid tomatoes. And rice is also a GMO approved product. Sweet corn, salmon, canola oil, yeast, some varieties of papaya, peas, soy. At least half of the cotton grown in the world is GMO. So this is basically for your uh, basic understanding of GMO foods. These are some common examples that you can relate to your daily life. Now, the most important question is, are GMOs safe? So, as we all know that there are various positive as well as negative impacts of everything first we will discuss the positive impact so for environment improved agricultural performance with less labor input and less cost input is a great and huge advantage next is related to health foods with greater shelf life as i told you about hybrid tomatoes and some other dairy products as well improve nutritional content and sensory properties because we are able to alter the DNA properties and we can fortify specific nutrients and desirable traits. Next is related to social and ethical disease and herbicide resistance products and potentially drought resistant products. Now we will discuss about some negative impacts. So environmental negative impacts include increased in weeds caused by cross breeding and it also causes soil and water contamination as we are growing specific traits so various allergens or various weeds are also involved in the process causing cross breeding and cross contamination to the nature next is related to health so introduction uh, to various new allergens and new traits human infectious disease risk is increased uh, to a certain level Related to social and ethical levels, sometimes uh, some industries or researchers uses genes from animals 
that can cause ethical, philosophical or religious problems as well. Now, how will you recognize which food is GMO, which is organic? Let me give you a special trick. So, uh, for organic food, five digit code starting with nine will show that the food is grown naturally without any chemicals. Next is conventional food products. So, the four digit code starting with four and is grown and will it will represent that the food is grown with chemical and pesticides. Now, about our product GMO, genetically modified food. The code will start with a five digit code starting with eight. It will show that the food is grown unnaturally and is genetically modified food. Now, you will be able to recognize the food products. So, remember all these three tricks. Now, What's next for GM food? This is an important question. What is the future of GM foods? There's ongoing debate, but most studies show that GMOs are safe to eat with concerns largely focusing on environmental and ethical issues. Genetically modified food have the potential to solve world's hunger and malnutrition problems. It will help protect and pressure the environment by increasing yield of the products and reducing reliance upon chemical pesticides and herbicides. With advances in food and biotechnology, GM foods could play a key role in solving global food shortages. Now time for some homework guys. So this question is for you. Which food is genetically modified organism uh, is used in the production to the largest extent so the options are cheese vegetables and meat do comment your answer in the comment section if you have any doubt you can reach me out on my instagram handle youtube handle or you can even mail us on foodtechjourney at the red gmail.com keep spreading the content guys and help us in growing and reach the ones in need thank you very much for watching the video